sleepy, man. What's up, everybody? So it is August 8th, 2020. I'm uploading a video today already of the thunderstorm today, but we're gonna go on the 2N10 off-roading. This goes right behind Snow Summit, like way up at the top. It's super, super, super awesome, and it's just beautiful wilderness area. So we're gonna go check it out, and hopefully we don't get stuck, but the thunderstorm is way up on top, so I'm hoping we might catch something. And my beautiful bride is the one who suggested it, so I'm super stoked. She's got a good head on her shoulders, folks. She knows what I likes. She knows what I likes. That's where at, at, at Bear Mountain we had our employee like thank you thing at the very end of the year there. All right, guys, here we go. So this is as a, uh, this was Mill Creek Road, and now we turn left here, and this goes up to you'll see signs for Two N Ten right here. But as I said, Two N Ten is an off-road adventure deal behind the mountain range and it's really beautiful it's really beautiful and it takes if you're flying through it about 35 minutes we're not going to fly through it so it'll probably take us about an hour but it's really really wonderful and i hope you guys enjoy it and i just filled up the tires too so that's good is that perfect there <laughs> good one. That's a good one. Man. That's a good one, lady. Come on, my kiss. Oh, finger what? in the eye. What? My finger Thumb, in the thumbnail. Eye? My thumb in the eye? Yeah. How? Oh, you guys hear that? She just cracks up about it. Crab, you like your she's, like, she's like, oh, well, all you need is one to see. <laughs> I grab you by your lips. What now? No, speak up if you see some some beauty, baby, please. Because we want to hear this. So I think it'd be pretty darn cool, you guys, to have a house in here. I think I've even seen one or two right on the inside of the National Forest uh, signs, or yeah, where it's run by the state and the federal government. I think, right? I don't freaking know. I don't even know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm really tired right now. But yeah, so all, there are quite a few beautiful little houses in here, and I heard a lot of them are off the grid, if not all of them. It'll just be nice to have a place in here. So secluded. But the further in you go, like, the more nervous I get about these houses. I, I wonder if there's, like, a bunch of people tied up in one of them or something, you know? Because <laughs> it's so... I, I don't know. It's, it's, it gets creepy at night. It really does. It gets creepy at night. So here's another off-road, or maybe that's someone's address. Yeah. But we're going to come up onto a bunch of different um, junctions for different little roads. Like the 2N10, which is what we're on right now. I know it doesn't seem like much yet, but we're coming to the dirt road portion and then it starts to undulate quite a bit. Look at there's a lake view right there a little bit. I really want you guys to see all this stuff. It is so beautiful back here. Okay, so it's open, baby. Alright, cool. Now we're entering into the uh, national or the, the National Forest. The forest. If you get cold, I'm just... It is a bit it chilly. It's like chilly with humidity. Put that 
that's okay because you're my baby. You can be cold all the time and I will warm you up. I will warm you up, girl. This is really pretty through here. I mean, there is so much this. Thank goodness I have a uh, two inch lift. I didn't need to be that cautious there, but I'm glad I did. Wow, what a nice driveway that was back there. All right, so we're coming up onto the dirt portion of the road right here. And it stays dirt until the very end. So this is gonna let us out right at Bear Mountain, like right next to Bear Mountain, you guys come out along the side of Bear Mountain on uh, Club View. Well, those guys weren't messing around. You see all, all the ropes and uh, carabiners and all that stuff they are going there? Let's just enjoy nature. I'll try to shut up a little bit, you guys, but you guys know I have a hard time doing that. I try. It's so pretty. We're gonna get a lake view right here. Yeah, that's so nice. It's just so beautiful. It's just a different perspective, you guys. Which is why it's so special. Driving into the storm a bit, so that's good. My phone's gonna overheat. I gotta turn that. If you get cold, just turn it back on, okay, baby? What? The heater. I had to turn it off because my phone's gonna overheat. It's so, it overheats all the time. All my iPhones when I'm recording. Beautiful rock formations everywhere. Look at how big these trees are. Wow. Those are monsters. I'm gonna put the phone out the window, you guys, to cool it. Okay, so over here to the left, you guys, there is this like natural spring that comes right out of, right out of the mountain, and it's like the freshest water ever. And it was, right there. it was just right there. Cool. That's awesome. Um, so <laughs> I believe the water comes from aquifers in the mountain, and there's aquifers all over, but that's the only way that it would make sense underwater or underground uh, reservoir. Have you been to it? I have not been to it yet. I just wanted to get through this whole drive while it's no, light. I would love to stop. I, I, I would love to stop there. Is all this camping? Um, like, I think you can get a pass and 
I don't know if you can just camp anywhere, but there are a lot of camping areas up here, yeah. And some of them are really beautiful. I mean, anywhere up here would just be beautiful just to pitch a tent, you know? <laughs> wow. My girl's the one who laughed at that, not me. <laughs> I love her. We have the same sense of humor too, you guys, so get ready. Get freaking ready. Here we go, man. Here we go. Whoa, my gosh. Dang. That's awesome, babe. Oh, I wish I could say it, but I can't. I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they'd be like, peace, smack you in the head. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me the hand. You guys what a special place right i mean what a special place and a lot of times you don't you don't need an off-road vehicle for this road well i will half the seasons that i've lived here you have it's it's like parts of it have been tore up from the floor up and we're still coming up to those areas but uh i rented a car one time when i first moved up here when my car was in the shop my saturn and i rented it it was just a two-wheel drive like like a, like a Cadillac or like something, and I went flying through here. Paid fifteen dollars a day insurance. Look at that up there. Look at those rocks. to come out here in the middle of the night do these drives because my first two or three years if you guys remember I was always driving up and down the mountain almost every single night like literally almost every single night just because I was bummed out on things and I just it just felt good just to drive like because I just I don't know it just felt really good But since I got settled in up here and I, I got a business and I've got the YouTube channel and <clears throat> I've got a beautiful wife, um, I, I don't have time to every night and I, I don't have the energy anymore because I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything when I first moved up here. I moved up here literally to just, just to, just to die, you guys. Like I, my family disowned me. You guys know the story. But. I've found myself up here, and I love who I am, you know, despite who, despite some of my family, you know, what they think, but I don't care what, what they think. look at how beautiful that is, wow, I mean, th this is, hold on a second, here we go, look at that, oh my gosh, look at that, you guys, I mean, come on. Is this not just perfect? Like, is this not heavenly? You need to start doing more hiking. Yes, 100%. And more kissing, too. Yeah. <laughs> I love your kisses, baby. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Luckiest man in the world. Luckiest man. Hey, there's a cat over there. Hey. Hopefully he's not illegally taking wood from the forest. Guys, I'm trying to hold this camera as steady as I possibly can. So hopefully I'm doing an okay job. As I said, I, I'm kind of a shock absorber also, my arm is. So I do a pretty good job, I think.
service out here. Do you, do you really? Oh. So when you guys come on this road, because I really want all of you guys to experience this, those of you who haven't, when you come up here, please have like extra clothing in the car, blankets, um, food and water to last you for a few days. Let two to three people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you. And then obviously if they don't hear from you, yeah, to alert the authorities to start searching for you. But uh, it's no joke, a few years back, on one of the videos I was doing, we got caught in a blizzard up here. And I didn't have anything that I told you guys to have with you. And I was in a tank top, I think, also, like in a blizzard and my cell phone had no service. The snow was so deep. Um, I was a few miles in, so it was, yeah, it, it was pretty hairball. I was a little bit, a little bit scared. I'm gonna hold you guys out the window again for a little bit. I hope it's not too loud. about what we want to go do for food right after this since we're so hungry it'll probably be something quick but what are you thinking she usually cooks for me you guys, or us i'm telling you this lady has the most incredible culinary skills she can whip together anything and make it the best meal that i've ever had and she does it all the time all the time Azteca for the second and third time this last week. The second time was really, really good. The third time I wasn't too impressed, but it's it was still good. Azteca grill. It's it tastes pretty fresh, but my wife said that it, it, it was definitely microwaved. Hers was. I said maybe. Oh, okay. Because it was so like piping hot in the middle, but it could just be that the rice. I don't know. Well, like I've. I've always <laughs> believed really, that really if it's like super hot on one part and not on the other, it's definitely microwave because <laughs> it should be evenly cooked throughout, right? Or evenly heated up throughout if it's not microwave. But what's your favorite restaurant up here, Rachel? Uh, I really like the Hacienda. So the Hacienda, you guys, another phenomenal Mexican restaurant. That's my favorite one in Big Bear. I dig it for sure. Um, it's on Big Bear Boulevard, right next to Carl's Jr or pretty close to Carl's Jr. in Big Bear Lake, not Big Bear City, Big Bear Lake. And I think my favorite restaurant is Captain's Anchorage. But I get the same thing every time there. I get the prime rib. I did like it when we did that part, though. They had the best appetizer. They did, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah, we went to Peppercorn also. 
and uh, Peppercorn Grill, you guys. It's that's in the village on Pine Knot, and they had a uh, yeah, they had amazing appetizers. I think that's 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 where we had like some of the best zucchini that I've ever had, right? Or, or no, asparagus, asparagus. Didn't we have the asparagus there, or was that Ruth's Chris? I think it was like a, a mushroom, like a stuffed mushroom. That's right. yes. Oh. Something up here used to be a lake. Used to. Something. Okay. How you feeling, baby? Are you are you cool? No, I feel good. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So for food, I was thinking even oh they're they're gonna be closed. Mountain munchies. I haven't had a mountain munchies in a while. I like mountain munchies burger. Um, get the burger still is a darn good burger. You guys know my issue that I used to have with them. We've talked about it a few times, especially right after it happened five years ago, six years ago, six years ago. Huh? So yeah, you guys can see that the road gets a little more harsh. And if I had my snow slash off-road tires on, which I just took off about three weeks ago, I would be charging a little more, but I also want you guys to be able to get beautiful views of everything. Cause this is a, I mean, this is, this is right in your backyard. Most of you guys who watch this channel, even though there's a lot of you from all over the world, most of you guys are from California. And I mean, this is just right in your backyard. It's, it's here for you guys to come up and enjoy. Can you hold that, sweetheart? Just, thank you. Just for a moment. I appreciate that, baby. Oh, well, you're doing a great job. Now I'm good, to, good enough to hold the phone. I've graduated. <laughs> And she's a, she's a smart aleck as well, guys. A really good one. I love it. <laughs> she learned from the best. I'm not as great. No, you're not nearly as good of a smart aleck as me, but I mean, you, you can graduate to that point someday. Just keep trying. Wow, it's so pretty. sway bars in it. If those snap again in here, I'll be so upset. Sounds more on this road. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, because we've hit a lot of undulations and dips and potholes and We gotta be careful because uh, I'm concerned about my car now, you guys. And more concerned because I have my wife with me. Is that what it sounds like when it comes off? Or whatever happens to Yeah, you'll you'll really hear it when it comes off. But it's not gonna come off because we're gonna keep a positive attitude and believe it's not gonna come off. It's gonna get stronger, guys. <laughs> As we go, it's gonna get stronger. This would be a cool trail to like ride, ride our bicycles on or something, right? Wouldn't you enjoy that? Totally, right? How many miles is it? I think it's like seven or ten, seven to ten miles. It's not that much, but because you're going so slow, it takes a long time. white knuckling it because of the sounds I'm hearing from like from the suspension of my car right now you know maybe if I roll up my window I won't hear it and it, it'll be like it's not happening <laughs> So 
so yeah, what is this today? The eighth or ninth? Eight. It's the eighth. Okay, so yeah, guys, once again, it's August eighth, twenty twenty-two, in Big Bear Lake, California. We're on the two N ten, which is one of our many off roads. I don't know the proper word for it. Off road. Yeah, I guess. Guys, look at how pretty this is. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. We got 420 in terms of how many miles left that we can drive, 420 until we run out of gas. But you gotta love that. So we're definitely not gonna run out of gas in here. Look at those two trees. There's quite a few trees up here that you can see have been struck by lightning, like that one right there they just explode like that that's amazing they have quite a few up here you guys know that's how most of most of our forest fires and actually most most forest fires are because of lightning strikes especially up here in the San Bernardino National Forest or people doing re reveal parties did you hear about that yeah yeah kind of hot now everybody knows <laughs> yeah everybody the whole world knew what they were having wow guys so we've climbed quite a bit in elevation we're probably another thousand feet up or close to it from big bear and uh, it's it's beautiful because it's like it's not like a mountain up here. It's like flat, there's a lot of flat area and we're coming up to the campsites. It's just, it's really, really perfect, you guys. <coughs> it's pristine. I'm glad it's being kept that way. One thing I've noticed in, in Big Bear lately, which is really bugging me, like driving into Big Bear also, is some graffiti. I'm telling you guys, if you guys ever see anybody doing that, you have, you have my, like, full regard to go punch them I'm, I'm seriously like we can't do that to this place we can't do that to this place keep that down there like that's why i moved up here to get away from all that you know we love nature we love this area and i know all of you do too you guys love to come up here and and get away from stuff like that so it's really important we try to keep big bear really beautiful um without any of the uh, uh, extracurricular activities when it comes to tagging and stuff like that. Because it is disappointing to see like a rock that has like graffiti on it. It really is. <laughs> I know I sound like a, I don't know, like a tool, I guess, but I love this area. It's one of the last few areas in Southern California that we all have left for enjoying and and just, yeah, just being a part of nature in a very peaceful, serene area. It's so unbelievably beautiful. Just everything up here. This is going to be a beautiful video, baby. I can't wait. Like, just to watch it sometime on the 4K be awesome. Are you, are you gonna call it? Just just say someone will love it, okay? Yeah, look at that tree you guys. It's the drunk tree. It, it's a, it kind of looked like a mushroom, like a giant mushroom. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, good observation, baby. Oh, thank you. Look at all this wood. Where's all this wood going? I keep on seeing piles like that driving through here. 
Look, another huge pile right there. So part of this road up here gets a little sketchy, a little, a little scary because you're right on the edge of a cliff and it's literally right behind Snow Summit. But the view is beautiful. You see San Gorgonio and everything across that valley. It's just spectacular. But I promise you, baby, I'll be very careful. I will not make you fear. I trust you. Thanks, baby. As you should, I would never put you in jeopardy. Maybe Wheel of Fortune for Family Feud, but never Jeopardy. And then I, the first year that I was up here, um, I, was do, I was doing this road all the time. And part of it coming up um, through this this really cool oh, little forestry area was uh, really uh, burned. Look at how easy I did that, babe. Ooh, I can't glow. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I felt like I just bounced you into the window. <laughs> okay, guys, hopefully we see a bear. I've never seen a bear except for on my ring doorbell, on my back door, one night in the middle of the night. And it was like one of the only nights I didn't have my lights on out back. There was a bear. But I saw it like two days later because I didn't check my ring doorbell that night. Now I check it every time. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's just, everything up here is just, it's like little house on the prairie. Just, I don't know, it's just perfect. Everything's just so beautiful and God's creation is incredible, and we're just flying through space, too. <laughs> I, like, how can people even wrap their minds around what, what's going on? Especially when we don't know what's going on, and all it is is speculation. It's so beautiful. So you guys can see all these different roads you can take, but we're staying on this one. And as I said, this one's gonna take us to, uh, well, if I take it, prop, if I go the right way, it'll drop us off by Bear Mountain. this a smurf came through here if anybody knows what that blue stuff was if anybody's even still watching at this point look at that <laughs> I don't think so but I, I thought you were you were backing up because you thought there were gonna be like flies coming out of there I was like, oh, she's, she's preparing. Okay. What was the last time you went on this road, sweetheart? I used to drive around a lot as well, and I found this road by accident. And the water that comes out of the side of the mountain and a couple of other 
really cool things that are up here. Isn't it cool to find that stuff on accident though? Yeah. And then when I drive back out to it, I'm like, what the hell was I doing out here? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, like, yeah, it's some... Exploring. Yeah, totally. One time I kind of put myself in a bad situation exploring on 2N10 here because I want to divert onto a different road here mm -hmm. and I did and then I couldn't back out and I went down like the steepest part of the mountain right behind snow summit all the way down to the bottom of one lane and there were other, there was like one jeep and like two dirt bikes that came up so it's literally one lane it was literally half the size of this road I'm on right now it was like half of a lane and if you like there was there's no trees nothing like if make one little wrong move you're gonna tumble down the whole mountain and it was really scary I was really scared I was I didn't have phone service but I was gonna call 911 for them to come get me like it was that it was that bad you guys like I I didn't think I'd be able to to make it out and check this out here's a little spot I'm sure I'm you guys are gonna yeah you know what if it if you sit on top of those rocks it's probably a beautiful view of the lake and then on this side, look at this. Now we're coming up to the part where I said it starts to get sketchy in a little bit, but you can see San Gorgonia over there. I mean, kind of through through the trees here. But look, this is where the uh, the fire was. And what, baby? I'm nothing. Oh, okay. Please point things out. Both sides are really beautiful. I know. If you look, if you look left, it's beautiful. And if you look right, it's beautiful. Absolutely. And if you spin around in circles, it's... <laughs> it's just, it's so just, beautiful. oh yeah, it's, you're just spinning <laughs> beauty. Just spinning beauty, yeah. <laughs> it really is beautiful. Look at that little edge of San Gorgonia. Oh, look at the doggy. Penny Pines Plantation, Skyline Penny, Pine, Penny Pines Plantation. Guys, this, this part over here, this whole area, when I first moved up here, had burned. And so when I drove through, it was so eerie because there was, well, when we get to that specific spot, I'll let you know, but it was pretty much all burned through here. Yeah, look at that. This is just, oh, look at this guy. It looks like that. Yeah, I mean, it was really eerie <laughs> driving through that that burnt area. It's just, it was super quiet. You didn't hear any animals, no birds. It was just, yeah, it was, it was eerie for the third time. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is. I mean, come on. Just unbelievable. Okay. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Guys, isn't that just spectacular? Wow. There's no one behind us, so we might just chill here for a second. I mean, wow. That's wow, right down there. And then look straight ahead. I'm telling you, this is just you see the lake, and you can see the lake over there. It's just amazing, guys. How lucky are we to live here? I mean, seriously, how lucky are we to be employed up here? <laughs> so lucky. If you guys want to live here, I'm, I'm telling you, there's a dereliction of duty in terms of like work ethic up here. If you guys came up here and just like showed that you wanted to work hard, you'd probably get a job. That's freaking terrifying, but it's beautiful.
San Gorgonia. Oh yeah. So so if, look at that guys, isn't that freaky? But beautiful as can be. Wow. And now San Gorgonio straight ahead. So the not the very far well, hold on, let me see. Because I'll point out exactly which peak is San Gorgonio. I think it's 11,555 feet, I think. Oh my goodness. There's Sugarloaf Mountain. The one we're looking at straight ahead. Wow, you guys, this is just epic. I forgot how beautiful it was back there. I mean, I knew it was beautiful, you guys hear me? Whoa, look at this. Look at this, this jump, this ramp right here. We should back up and get some air. Okay, so straight ahead. That, not the far left peak there, but that peak right there, that's San Gorgonio. That's the highest peak in Southern California. And a little fun fact, that's uh, in the continental United States. That is the furthest, like uh, you have the longest vantage point from that peak up there. You can see Mount Whitney. So it's, you, you can see this peak from Mount Whitney better. However, it's the furthest vantage point. I think it's 198 miles. So basically you can see 198 miles when you're on the top of San Gorgonio on a clear day. And that's pretty amazing. You can't see any further than that anywhere else in the United States. Pretty crazy. And look at that, here we go. I gotta put it outside because the glare of the windshield is killing me. And we're at about 8,000 feet now. We're getting close to coming up behind Snow Summit. I'd like to take my wife back up here one time and show her, like, we'll park in the spot I, I always park and show her how literally it takes, like, 10 minutes to hike. Just, and you're at the very top of Snow Summit. You're at the restaurant. Um, the very top of the, the, the highest lift. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty unreal because you don't think you're way up there when you're back there, but you are. Wow. It's just so beautiful. Okay, I gotta get that. Just real quick, and then I'll roll this up. Unreal, so beautiful. Beautiful rock formations again. Guys, there's so many sledding areas back here. You know, so, so, or for you hardcore guys, you know, like some snowboarding stuff. But you know what? San Gorgonio actually has, if you're willing to hike to the top, there's a couple videos showing some snowboarding back there. Holy moly! It like it literally looks like you're in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. I don't know how that view even comes about up there, but it really feels like you're in the middle of the Rockies. And I only say that because I used to live there. For two years, I would go skiing every week, every Wednesday, up in the, in the, up off of I-70. In the Rocky Mountains. Such a beautiful place. I wish our mountain range was big like that. That's the only thing I am disappointed about this mountain range, is it's just so small. To get from one side on the bottom to the other side on the bottom, like to 
go over the mountain to summit it and then go back down. It's, it, wouldn't, it doesn't take you that long. And if there was a direct road, it wouldn't take you hardly any time. You could probably drive the whole thing top to bottom in like 45 minutes if they had a direct route. Sometimes people driving up there accidentally find that direct Again, guys, up here, just rocks after rocks after rocks. I don't know. Perfect. We can pull up right here. Oh, sweet. Fuck. Oh, what a kook. Sorry, I s said the F word, but I like waved to him, and the guy was just such a Barney. Don't be a Barney when you come up here, please. <laughs> People say hi, like have some manners and say hi back. What were you saying, sweetheart? <laughs> I'm thinking about food though, for sure. I'm so glad you told me to, that you wanted to, to take this today. This is great. Oh, wow, look at that. It's look so at that road. Beautiful. Isn't that yeah, incredible? It's really pretty out here. Does it? Oh, it does. Look at that. And it's a road, too. But look at how gnarly that is. You see how, how deep that... It's pretty deep. Okay, so I think we're coming up to the campground areas. Which is good because it, I know we're getting closer to the end. That would be neat to camp out here. 100%. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to. Little we'll slippage. Can you see if your phone has service? Please. No. Wonderful. Continuing to climb. As I said, we end up going right behind Snow Summit near the top. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. But I love this part of this road too. This leads you into the camping, the camping areas.
this was the area that was on fire or not on fire but just had burned nope dang it it's not there's a beautiful blue jay it's like this road keeps going I forgot it it just keeps going and going things really easy. I'm glad the road isn't all tattered up like as bad as it usually is. <clears throat> we might hit a little bit of the sunset too. That would be great. I'll title this video Sunset Drive on the 2N10. <laughs> or not. Okay, this is the part that was that, that had burned through here. And you can still tell. Look at that beautiful Christmas tree right there. Right over here. <laughs> that it's got our name on it. Kind of feels like we're on Indiana Jones at Disneyland. Here we go, some beautiful views of San Gorgonio. So my wheels aren't turning over these bumps. I think that's some of the problem. <clears throat> if I make a full turn, the thing will snap, I guarantee you. Here it will, maybe. I got my Mercedes ML500 stuck out here. Here's some campsites right here, you guys. So you can just cruise back here. and You got some beautiful views looking down the mountain out there. But yes, I think you have to get like a, like a camping pass or, or it, it's like the outdoor adventure pass or something.
security. snaps. I just want to know that we don't have to trip too bad. Sweet. That also means we're getting closer to town. this video when we're driving by Bear Mountain, okay, you guys? Because we're already at 58 and a half minutes. And this is the part that actually burned, you guys. This is the area that burned. I am so sorry. This is the area that burned. But that other area, it looked like it had burned too, but it was really creepy through here. It still is kind of creepy. Feels like dead forest. Yeah, this whole thing, all this left and right was all like black on the ground. Charred. Why don't we go to Jersey Mike's? is like rocking me to sleep. Well, we'll be totally good. So you just let me know when and then we can pull over. I'm sure I got some TP in the car. Oh, I'm sure we do. <laughs> I'm 
trying to hold as steady as I can, guys. favorite parts up here I think it's, it's like a little it's, it's not a roundabout but there's like a big dirt area that you just can, can drive in a circle and look at the most amazing views over here I think yep this is it right here so we could just like turn right here and just make a u-turn just go in circles right here but from this view of San Gorgonio it's just so beautiful so much closer than the last ones We are getting close to the end. Another mile. Can I roll this down for a second? Just a second. Wow. So pretty. And then way down there, that's where that's where you guys are, way down there. Joey bought a book over here. Okay, so this is where the road gets a little sketchy again. Look at that view. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. See if So we're coming up behind Snow Summit real quick here. Um, so this is part of the hairball part of the drive, is uh, this cliff on the right. You don't want to go down it. So we're going to stay to the left as far as we can. Good thing there's some trees, but still we don't want to like rely on a tree stopping us going down like a the steepest cliff ever so you're gonna see an access road up here in a moment to the left which is for like snow summit employees or for loading and stuff back here I don't know whatever they do back here but I've seen trucks back here dropping stuff off up there wow look at this this is not cool sit for a second and I could enjoy this view for 30 seconds.
thought it was just coming around this corner here should be where I would park to walk up to the top of Snow Summit. In the winter time, this, this part of the, the mountain has so much snow. That's why the roads are closed. They get so much snow back here. Okay, I think I would park here, or maybe at the next one up here. And it's not even that steep of a hike. If you Google Earth Snow Summit, and then just go on the other side of the mountain, you'll see this road and you'll see how it's right at the top. It's pretty cool. But it's right up here. It's right up there. And it's not even that far to get to the very top right there. road where the heck did that go oh see there's there there's the restaurant right there you can see the building right there let me zoom in so the road's got to be right up here isn't that crazy babe that's the top of snow summit right there that's how high up we are right now Here it is, or this is another place to park. Oh no, that's where I'd hike up, right there. That's where I would hike up to go to Snow Summit, or just to get get to the top. I've only done it a couple times, so it's and nothing came about it. I rode down the lift one time after I came back here. We got dropped off back here back in the Bear Mountain days when I was working for Bear. It's pretty cool. You guys remember I did a bunch of videos while I was working at Bear also? <laughs> it was cool because my bosses, they would, they would let me do that also. Here's the access road, right there. Where this drops us off, you guys, like uh, back into the, the Big Bear Lake town, right where it drops you off is where I suggest a lot of you go sledding. Every year when a lot of you ask me, that's where I send you. Because you don't have to worry about your kids like sledding into the street. There's plenty of snow up there usually. Um, it's free. <laughs> so, yeah. It's good, good stuff. Look at these people camping, it's so cool. We're just about out of here. I'm so happy.
make some good. Homes in Moon Ridge. They're not from Moon Ridge. That's cool. There's the golf course. <laughs> we are almost done. Now we're gonna go get some food. So this drops you off on the top of Club View. At least I think it stays Club View when you pass Bear Mountain. I'm not 100 sure, but I think it is. So basically, you'll want to take Club View to the very end of the winter time, where it dead ends onto this road because this road is closed in the winter, and you take your kids sledding there. Here we go. Finally, we're out of here. We're out of here. So yeah. And then I'll show you guys how close we are to Bear Mountain and then we'll shut off the video. Back on pavement, yeah. time hope you enjoyed it my wife is asleep so i'll say goodbye for her peace out yet yeah.